Located in the heart of the city, the Derek Walcott Square, named after one of the island's Nobel laureates established in the 1760s, is a quintessential location that plays host to events, leisure, and outings. The two-acre square is home to the 400-year-old salmon tree and two busts, one of Sir Derek Walcott and the other of Nobel laureate Sir Arthur Lewis. The Castry City Council, alongside the Ministry of Tourism, has begun plans to give the square a much-needed facelift. These plans include an open-concept square. The walls and metalwork surrounding the park have now been torn down and handed over to the St. Lucia National Trust. Director of the Trust, Bishnu Tulsi, says this was done after the Trust requested the metal finishings to retain some of the intricate metalwork and repurpose it to enhance pre-existing heritage sites. When the Trust learned that the, um, the wall around the wall square would be torn down, we approached the Castry City Council, who then placed us in contact with the Ministry of Tourism, um, requesting that all the ironwork on the gate be protected um, and used at on the heritage site. Um, they, this is part of the his, country's history, and we thought that instead of the ironwork being scrapped, that we could reuse them at some other Heritage sites. The metal work has since been collected by the trust and placed in storage. According to Tulsi, one immediate site where the metal will be placed is at the married women quarters in Viji. The location is an important part of St. Lucia's military heritage, completed about 1900 and abandoned in 1905. When, when funding allows us, we will be reusing them and putting up appropriate sign to say where they came from and what the story is behind them. And what of the redevelopment undertaken by the Ministry of Tourism and the CCC of the historic Derek Walcott Square? The Trust says, despite not seeing the plans, it welcomes the free access open concept Derek Walcott Square. We were never shown the plans, but um, the concept which we heard about on television, we are happy with that, you know, there is more open access and we think it's a great idea. Um, we just hope that um, all St. Lucians will um, use the space as a space of re reflection and recreation and, and um, treat it with the respect that it deserves because it is part of our history and needs to be protected. The project, which moved into its first phase last month, is funded by the World Bank under the OECS Regional Tourism Competitiveness Project. Solaj Alfred, HDS News Force.